getting a little Christmas uh, card making. And these are a couple of Knitwit Collection cards. I made a couple of things before with Knitwit Collections, and I wanted to try some Christmas cards. I am going to get one of their bigger collections, but right now I was just trying a couple of smaller collections. They do have some small ones that are very inexpensive if you want to play around with it. If you haven't tried digital paper before, you might want to try one of the smaller collections. I think one of these collections was $3.99 and one was um, $6.99. So they're very inexpensive. And uh, there are two collections here. This is called A Very Merry Christmas, and this is called Me, My Elf, and I. And uh, I think, actually, this little sign here came from the Me, My Elf, Elf and I, because there wasn't one in the Merry Christmas one. But uh, And it shows, once you've uploaded it into your program, whatever program you're using, in my case, I use Cricut Design Space, uh, or Access, um, you can play with the papers and the images and create a digital card front that makes it very easy to put a card together. Everything here is just created in one place on the computer with the exception of I cut the image out twice. And that's so you can see it has a little dimension to it. I think you can pick it up here. Yeah. And uh, it just gives it a little bit more dimension. And also what I've done with this one is I've used some stickles and some rhinestones to kind of jazz it up a little bit because you know that, and this one also, um, Christmas is all about shiny and dazzling. So we have to have some um, shiny things on our cards. Okay, so I'm going to make another one of these today. So we'll, let's go over the computer. And we will check it out, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, we're over here at Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to go under Create a New Project. And I'm first thing I'm going to do is insert a shape. And I'm going to insert a square. I'm going to change that square to uh, red. That's my base card. Okay, and I'm going to make it... Um, this is going to be like a, a portrait style, so the width is going to be 5.5. Unlocking my lock. And not 555, 5.5. Hello, it's a little different. Here we go. And the height is going to be 4.25. All right. So that's just to give me an eyeball of what I want to put on here. I'm going to uh, get another square. Sorry, under layers, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to make this one, which is highlighted white. And I could make this, uh, actually edit it, and I, I'll do it just so you can see it. So this one will be five. 0.25 and the height will be 4.0. All right, so now I'm going to lay this on the top of that. Okay, so that's how the base is going to look. Now I'm going to insert some images. I'm going up to this little funnel on the right hand side. I'm not sure it's on the screen, but it gives me an option to use just uploaded images. And these are the ones I've all up uploaded from different uh, Knitwit knit collections. I'm going to use this one and this one. And I like the elf. Here it is here with the presents. And I think that's all I need. It takes a little time for these to um, come in. So if anybody knows any good songs, we could sing them now. Christmas songs, I guess. This is from the collection Me, My Elf, and I. And I also have the collection Have a Berry Christmas. 
and that's where the other card came from. All right, so now I have these two um, papers and this image. First thing I'm going to do with this image is under layers, I'm going to duplicate it because we put one on top of the other to give it a little dimension. Okay, so I'm going to take this one up here and I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to bring it down until I like the way it looks in here leaving a little bit of a white border and I like that. So I'm going to leave, the, it's clicked on here I'm going to hold the shift down, click on the white one and attach it. Okay, and you notice that that has changed to print and my white is now print. All right, my next thing I'm going to do is, I have to move this forward, oh, I guess I'm going to move it, didn't get it forward, move it to the front, okay, there. So now I'm just going to make this the size I think I want it to be. And I'm going to measure it by looking here, move to the front, and seeing how he fits on here. That's just perfect. Okay, so now I have this highlighted. Hold down the shift, highlight the other ones I just did, and write attach. Now we'll bring our little elf in, move him forward, and I'll put him right about here. Looks good. All right, and while he's done, I'm just going to shift anywhere underneath him and put attach. And now you see all of this is attached, and that's what I'm going to cut out. This I can now get rid of because that was only just so I could measure my other pieces. So this is my whole front of the card that's now going to print out with this extra piece that I'll put on the top to give it some dimension. All right, so now the next, all we have to do at this point in time, oh, I wanted to get a, sorry, i got to have my Merry Christmas. Merry. Oh, gosh, it's a Y, Donna. <laughs> Merry. I have the keyboard over to my side, so I'm sort of typing around the corner here. Okay, I'm going to change this font. The, the color is going to be red. All right, and I'm going to change, edit the font, and I want to change this Cricut alphabet. And I have it takes a long time sometimes for mine to to come on up there. And I used Bible Hallmark Bold. Okay, but it didn't keep red so I want to go back and make it red okay now I have to have some place to put this so I'm going to insert a shape a square I'm going to turn it white I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to bring it up here and make it a little kind of a rectangle maybe a little wider than that Center it in here. No, it goes a little bit better this way. I'm kind of looking at the lines on the striped paper. Okay, so now I have that, and I'm going to put this shift attach. So now that's going to print. Merry Christmas. I'm going to put up here. Oh, move it to the front. Okay, and I'm just going to bring it down until it fits nicely inside my rectangle. That looks good, so I'm going to highlight it and highlight anything around it and write attach. And now you'll see that the letter up here, which means my letter is going to be printed. So now I have this all attached and this is going to be my piece of paper that will print. And I'm going to print him separately so that we can get some dimension. So now I'm just going to go to go now this sometimes takes quite a while to load onto the preview screen, but we'll give it a second. These The complicated layered type of things seem to take quite a while to, to transfer over. Uh, I guess it's trying to make the machine think and everything else think. Uh, so it does take some time. And if it takes too long, then I'll just 
wait for it while I shut the camera off, print it, and take you over to the table. And we'll put the card together. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, oh, there it is, it popped up. Now you see it's going to cut out both of these on here. I need to go. I'm going to load my printer with my cardstock. And you see that's what it's going to print. I'm going to print the page. And there you go. And I'll just press print. So, okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, go over and cut it out after it prints. And I'll meet you back at the desk and we'll put the card together. Okay, here we are back at the table. And you can see I have my red card base. And this is an A2 size card. Uh, it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm using it portrait style. And here is my piece that we created on the computer. And you can see it's the whole card front. It really just fits in there perfectly and creates a really cute card. And it takes no effort at all once you've gone on the computer and done your little part. So we'll just put this piece on. And I'm using the art glitter glue. I love this glue. And I'm... I also would suggest if you're getting the glue, you want to make sure you get this metal precision tip. Although I seem to have clogged mine up. Let me just see if I can get it unclogged. Yeah, I was just using it, so I probably got some glue on the top of it. There we go. There, okay. Yeah, get the needle in. Not easy to do when you're not wearing your glasses. That's a little hole. All right, let's get some more of this out here. There we go. And I'm just going to center this down on the card like so. And how cute is that? And you see by leaving that, putting the white block on first, it actually made it like three levels of paper. Now with this piece, I'm going to put this up on some little foam squares. And I'm just going to just put this one right on the top of the other one. Like so. Oops, and I have a foam square stuck to me. <laughs> okay, we'll get it off in a minute. There we go. Isn't that just cute? I tell you. Now, with this card, I added some little bling on this. And this is that, um, God, I even forgot what it's called. I don't know. Decorate your life. It's, it, I can't think of what it is now. But it melts the glue on these little um, gemstones, sequins, not sequins. It gets very hot, so you have to be careful with it. But I don't use it very often, and so I thought, well, I when you get this um, package, it comes with a gazillion gems. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't use them all up in my lifetime. So I said, well, I've got this drawer full of these things. I better start using some of them. And what I'm going to try to do, if I can get it off this little pickup tool, is get them over in the corner. Okay. 
coming down here in the corner. Okay, what over here in the corner? Well, come on now. We use two hands, maybe. Why is it that when you ever drop these little things on your cards, they never land right side up? They always land upside down. Okay. There's that one. One more. <laughs> oh, get over there. Okay, now, this is used by pressing this down. It heats up the tip, and you push down on here. And what it is is the back of these all have glue on them, and this tool heats up the glue and melts it to a, attach it to the paper. And I find that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to hope it works. Last one. And I also used, let's see if they're all attached. Oh, they are. What do you know? Okay, I'll shut that little sucker off. And I also used some um, stickles because it just gave it a nice shine. So we'll give some stickles to his fur hat here. I think he's the cutest little elf. And this one is called Diamond. And then I have some green. Let me get up because I want his hat. I don't use stickles too often because, you know, uh, what will happen is invariably I pick it up, move the card or something, lay something on top of it before it's had a chance to dry. And it does have to take some time to dry. And also, because I'm left-handed, Sometimes I tend to put my hand over what I'm working on. And of course, you know what happens then. You have an entire card full of stickles. I have the um, glitter pen and the wink of Stella, but some, it's, it doesn't make it obviously as bright as this because this is real glitter and a glue. So, okay, so there you go. There's a Christmas card from me, myself, and I, me, my elf, and I. And very simple, put together on the computer. Here's the other one I made earlier. And I will try not to put something on top of that. And here's the one with Have a Very Merry Christmas. Um, what I did with this one is I've generated, I wrote a poem, and I generated it on the computer, and we've, I put it inside. It, it says, Christmas bells, warm kitchen smells, and ornaments on the tree. The season of joy and laughter of wondrous sights to see. The feeling of peace, the, lo the feeling of love and peace all around, warm wishes of good cheer. These are the things we wish for you throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas from Bob and Donna. So I will do the same thing with these, obviously changing the orientation so it will fit in these cards. So there you go. I have three nice Christmas cards, very simply done using Knitwit Collections. And if you haven't tried it, you need to. Um, 
they have some really cute things. Unfortunately, my biggest problem is everyone I see I want to buy. <laughs> and they have some awfully cute pet ones uh, as well as uh, for Christmas. So check them out. Nitwit Collections. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.